through. Yep, right through, right through. Hit him or he just said hi. Oh, yeah. just him didn't, didn't look like the timing was uh, right for gonna hit him. So, <laughs> yep, here he comes through. Yep. Alright, he's coming. Alright, he's coming. Gonna get some tape in. Well, here we are out in Rock Hill, Connecticut, watching the New England meet, 67th, I think, 67th New England meet. So we came out to take some film here, and uh, some of the cars going out on a, a uh, ad hoc uh, a tour. So anyway, I'm going to cut you off right here, but I'll bring you back in a couple minutes. I'm going to find something else to take a look at. I'm going to do some details on some individual cars. So anyway, thanks for following along. A couple of cars in the parking lot. Let's take a look. Unrestored 31, got a visor so it's not a slant window. All right, another one right here. All right, Massachusetts plates on this one. Don't know on that one. And two door deluxe Phaeton, there you go. Uh, 31, let's take a walk around it real quick. Yeah, got nice blue. Isn't that pretty, huh? That is pretty. How you doing? Good, 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 good. Yep. They're gonna walk right around. Yep. Yep. This is gonna be fun to change. Yeah, yeah. I, I, she was in the hospital last week, so I had coffee with her. He said, Go right by you guys. They'll get her squared away and she'll you know, be able to get down here. We got a Phaeton. Looks like 28 or 29. Take a walk around it. Mark of Excellence car. Back in the day. How's that? Pretty cool. Mark, this is for you because I'm pretty sure you got a 28 or a 29. Yeah. That's pretty. Pretty car. Oh, okay. Nice. Here's a lineup. Got a nice 28, 29 here. I'm not sure the the year on this one, but look at the nice rear window here. All right, that's pretty cool. How's that for a model? I say it might be business coupe, doctor's coupe, I'm not sure what they call this particular model, but 28, definitely a 28-29, definitely pretty. And we've got a Victoria. So notice the difference in the back of the Victoria. All right, two-door car, different body. This one doesn't have a, a canvas top on it. A lot of them have canvas on them, so, all right. Take a look, quick look at this. Down the line. Hey, okay, dented. I don't know if it's an indented firewall or not, but it's definitely it's a 31 car. It's got the 31 grill. It's definitely a slant window. Alright, and then you got a appears to be a 
older restoration of a 30 four door four door and i want to look at this real quick so people can see that just for the sake of seeing i like that i like those uh license plate things here the long island car i don't know why you can see that or not but I have no idea what that looks like over to this one and as you can see a lot of cars left we're leaving as we're going but We've got a few cars here, including a bus and a fire engine. So, take a quick walk down some of these things. See what you got. See if a body style you particularly like is here. Here's another. Here's another Victoria. This one has the canvas top on it. All right. Beautiful car. Beautiful car. Yep. Yeah. And it has something on the bottom here. I'm not sure what that is, but we're going to take a picture of it. Spartan something chime courtesy chime so whatever that is something different yeah four door okay 34 door yep. older car out of connecticut and we got a pickup truck out of rhode island yep we may be small but we're big on model a's nice sturdy pickup and cool Pretty cool. Okay, an unrestored, unrestored pickup. Yeah, rusty, but cool looking. Yeah, and we've got one that's a little more polished, a more like 35, 36 inch, 36, uh, 1936 wheels on this one. Got a metal flake paint job, but boy, it is pretty. It is pretty. Look at that 30, 1930. Got a trunk in the back and old beer bottles. There you go for the 30, 30 or 31 folks. Here's a nice coupe. Beautiful colors. Pretty, pretty car. Yep. And, uh, 1930. Yep. Don't get much nicer than that. All right. And then the rarest of the rare. How about a two door? This is called a town car. So this would have been a, a car that would have had a chauffeur. A little more wealthy people in the crowd. I like that. Look how that's cut out. And chauffeur with a glass inside. And she, that's where the chauffeur drove. And the ride is road in the back. Little bucket seats. I don't know how well you can see that. But a beautiful example of a 30 car. And look at that. Squared off corners on the car. Whole different body style here. Whole different body stuff. Fancy canvas across the top. Yep. All right. You won't see one of these. These are very rare. I don't know how many were made, but it wasn't very many. Um, all right. Has a little flip top that goes across the top. Covers the chauffeur driver. And uh, like I say, you won't find much that's rarer than that. So anyway, um, 1930 town car now. Not town sedan, but town car. All right. I'm back on to the next row. They got buses. All right? How about a Model A bus? Ah, you like that. Huh? All right, there's a Indian head on it. We'll block out that engine as we go by. <laughs> yeah, that's what I figured too. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. Alright. Right. Yeah, planes don't would have been more. <laughs> nobody question. Alright, nice. Alright, okay. back up. And you want to go? Yeah. All right, we're going to skip out of here for a minute. A little bit new for you. A little something different, I should say, not new. But there is a 29 Fire Ranger. All right, Rocky Hill. This is the town that we're actually in right now. I believe we're in. They're having the show. And here's a 29 from the fire department. Second vehicle they said that uh, that they had in their 
in their fleet. Uh, 27 Rio was the first one, the Model A was the second one. So, restored 30 years ago, 20 years ago. They even got all the all the tubing and stuff for the uh, hoses and all that stuff, all the pieces. So, just kind of come around, take a quick look, see what you got. Kind of neat. Kind of neat, if you ask me. Yeah. yeah, we'll just take a quick look. Maybe yes, you can see it. Yeah. And we're on to the next one. All right, Michael, this one's for you. Here's a, somebody's purchasing document from 1974 when they bought this car. And uh, it's a beauty. This is a two door, uh, 28 of 29, I guess. I couldn't tell you the difference myself, but I've got some basic ideas. But isn't that pretty, huh? That is a pretty car. That is a pretty car. Yep. Super pretty. All right. Yep. Number two. So he's from hometown, right? Oh, yeah. I'll come back over here take a look at this one. Yep. All right, Mark, this is for you. This is a, this is a 30, though, I think. So this is not your year, I don't believe. Four door. Huh? Pretty. I like that. Looks like a leather type interior. Got the box. Got the uh, spot in the back for the box. Yep. Pretty, yeah. Solid car. Really solid car. Yeah, really solid. <laughs> yeah, really solid. I think one of the lines was Ford Puff, Massachusetts. <laughs> Four door. Got later wheels. Got to be 28, 29, somewhere in that range. Okay. Cool. Go back over here. Yeah. Cool. Oh, that hurt. Okay. Yeah. So, lineback. Yep. Pretty far. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. 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 So this is a cabriolet. No, it's a is this a sport coupe? Yep. Alright, then it says a sport coupe. Oh yeah, okay, sport coupe. Back window. Okay. So this must be what, 30? 30 gas? Yeah, 30 cab, 30 uh, sport coupe is going to say. Yeah, okay. Yep, okay, this is. Alright, alright. Yeah. Pretty, yeah. I forgot the cab, I guess it's a fake, fake cab away. Pretty. Yeah. And then we have a classic. Yeah. Somebody's artistic. Somebody's artistic, whatever you want to call it. And the way to get home, if you can't make it home, you always bring the hitch. Okay, going back over here. Something a little more original. All right, yeah. Christmas tree shop, advertise your business. Yeah, not pretty. Yeah, not pretty. Yeah. yeah nice little two door. Yep. Yeah. Two door. <laughs> two door. What am I talking about here? Nice little pickup truck. Got New Jersey plates on. So, pretty cool. Anyway, all right. All right. Come back to you when you get something else here to look at. So, hang on. So, a little roadie model plate, model A club. You're really missing something. Look at this thing here. All right, take a look at this. I believe a 30. All right, look at the body, custom body on this thing. Built back in the era. 
look at that huh love the black and the red stripes look at those panels huh different whole different bead structure on this than the standard cars all right look at this yep back doors it's very different yep very different very different yeah Oh, you like that? Pretty, yep. Exactly, mm -hmm. yeah. Very rare car. Very rare vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. So. All right, that's the final vision of what we have here. The uh, Model A meet, New England meet. Uh, out here in Rock Hill, Connecticut. Dennis and I come out to visit it's Friday just to take a look, see what's out there, and get a good uh, picture of what you guys can see. Maybe 100 cars here total. I only see maybe 30 cars at a time. A lot of them are out on, on run. So, just going to give you kind of a span of what we got. Fire engine over there. Bus you can just about see through the trees. And we got a bunch of cars that are parked around the whole. Thing and up up the street here a little bit all right so so our final sign off just so you know this little tent right here that is the repair tent for people who didn't make it or got here and need help work on their cars uh, they have a group here we call that the repair area okay so anyway Connecticut Model A Restorer Group I guess is who put this on not sure exactly who it is which group which group it was but I'm pretty sure that's who it was so anyway thanks for following along like and subscribe Share as you will. Thanks. Appreciate it. Take care. Yeah. All right, little roadie. Here we are at the National. In, uh, uh, New England, and we're talking to the representative for Herzblocks and Angels. All right, so here's the ad. You can introduce yourself and just go over real quick what so you have. My name is John Lamb, and I handle all the sales and distribution and the manufacturing. Um, if you're interested in the product, uh, there are a couple of good ways to save nicely on it. And one is that we do offer a, a club discount. And um, it's the same as our special event discount, the price is there. Okay. And also, the second way to save money is to group your shipment in one okay. delivery. It saves tremendously on the freight. Ship to a commercial address and such, yeah. That's even better. Okay. But if you if you ship three or four or five blocks together, mm -hmm. one block might be three hundred dollars in shipping. Right. Five blocks would probably be four hundred and fifty yeah. to five hundred dollars in shipping. Yeah. Okay. So your cost goes down exponentially. Okay. Those are two good ways to save money on a club purchase and okay. um, ship to one destination. Uh, you're going to get a lot of information sent back to the club, and please give me a call if you have any questions. Your phone number, your name, your phone number, and contact information. Okay, I, get, I picked up cards, and uh, we'll talk about this at the next meeting, okay? Hey, thanks for following, share, like, and all that good stuff. Appreciate it. Yep, little rodeo.